All right, this, folks, is a Mr. A Stort segment. And this is if you were one of the few people who watched me go live Monday, November 18th, 2018. The show does go live Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. We're an early morning boxing show, a double RT boxing show. Start your morning really early. Eggs, bacon, and boxing. You know, 6 a.m. before you get this, before you gotta get the kids up for school. Before you fucking gotta get your suit on. Before you gotta get your dress on. Before you know. Before you gotta get ready to go and you still have some time to yourself. Started with me, WRT Boxing Show. You know, and this was a segment we talked about the the real setup. You know, pass pass go and collect your $200 you know that's Rio's beating Alvarez is what is is a comeback fight but what really does it do for him you know can we honestly sit here and say Rios can beat anyone okay obviously the champions no he's not beating Sean Porter he's not beating Danny Garcia the second place he's not beating Thurman he's not beating Pacquiao he's not beating Spence he's not beating Crawford so those are all our top five then you got the next people. Is he beating Jordanis Ugas? No. Is he beating fucking Kell Brook? No. Amir Khan? No. Lamont Peterson? No. So, what else is there? Matchroom USA, Eddie Hearns. They've been feeding it to us a long time. If, you know, and finally, they went and signed Bam Bam Rios. Before they even signed him, they were talking about, oh, Josh Kelly tr- trying to get the likes of Bam Bam Rios. Maybe they were talking about it because they knew they were in the works of signing Bam Bam. You know? And, and after in the post-fight interview after Bam Bam Rios won Alvarez fight, where it was basically a, my face slash outlasts your face from getting hit longer, he said, "I got whatever I, I signed with the zone. I signed with Eddie Hearn, match with said, well, So whatever fight comes next, I, I'm down with it. If if he wants to give me a, just another fight, you know, with some hot people, I take it. If he wants to give me a title shot come my way, I take that. I'm always ready. And if that's the case, like I said, he ain't on the zone. No big welterweights are is gonna fight him. But all the names I named are PBC top ranks, so they're not gonna fight. Uh, they're not gonna go to the zone for Brandon Rios unless Eddie Hearn stole them some stupid amounts of cash. You know, I, I, him and his advisor is gonna say yes. Uh, top rank as a promoter is gonna get his fighter paid, so you know, get himself a big chunk of that. So that's the only way Brandon Rios is going to get himself a big name. Now, what the is title shot is out there is Josh Kelly. You know, he's a hot name, prospect. He's a WBA international into, um, championship. So Brandon Rios could beat him, work himself back into content- contention with that WBA belt. But technically, we all know this is just a build up for Brandon Rios to become a gatekeeper. You know, there's for, for for the performance he put on against Alvarez. I don't care if it's 151. Going down to 147, you're gonna see the same damn Brandon Rios. You're gonna see him catching punches with his head, no reflexes, no fast twitch muscles. Josh Kelly is gonna move all around him, chicken dance him, herky jerk him, faint him out. Josh Kelly is not gonna be trapped against the ropes if he don't want to get trapped. You know, and I'm pretty sure Booth is gonna say, hey. Don't trap yourself. Don't put yourself on it. I know you want to play cute, put your hands down and, and bite him, but don't trap him against the ropes. That's his bread and butter. Keep it in the middle of the rooms. Turn his ass and just punch, punch, punch. He's gonna. Josh Kelly is gonna beat the shit out of Brandon Rios, and and that's all Eddie Hearn wants. He went out and sent. He went out and signed Brandon Rios. He's gonna build him up to break him down. You know, he's gonna build him up, make him look good, make give him maybe one more fight. I don't know who he has as a wall to it. You know, but he'll throw maybe one more breadcrumb and then he's gonna, he's gonna get Brandon Rios' ass kicked by Josh Kelly, if not his next fight. This is a setup, you know, and I don't know how many fights Brandon Rios signed with the zone and Eddie Hearn, but whatever it is, it's either it's the startup of a gatekeeper. You know, he's 
he's going Eddie Hearn is going to turn Brandon Rios into the gatekeeper. Like I said, either his next fight he's getting his ass whipped by Josh Kelly, or he's going to build him up one more time, make him look good, and then all like, oh my God, what a fight, you know, two C plus fighters duking it out to fucking no defense. Yes, oh Brandon Rios was in a great fight. Oh my God, he got his ass beat by Josh Kelly after a great hard fight. You know they're gonna build it up. The Double RT Boxing Show. That's my Mr. Ace thoughts on the Brandon Rios setup. The Josh Kelly fucking bend over job matchroom usa has been in brandon rios over the double rt boxing show i'm your host mr a